Let's jump into the next bits on the show. And uh, well, my mate, super excited about not taking a vaccine. She's coming back on what's on and what's new. I think half is caught up with a jab. It wasn't really physical, but <laughs> we'll be right back uh, for what's on. Stay. What's on? What's on? What's on? Okay, so the first thing that is on is systematic racism part one looking back. Okay. And this is an event that is being organized by the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. Okay. So this is a virtual representation. Uh -huh. Sorry, a virtual presentation. All right. That will focus on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., mm -hmm. Malcolm X, and then the Black Lives Matter movement. Oh, okay. What else? It, it's basically that. Ah, okay. They'll be looking right. at the Black Lives Matter movement, taking into consideration the works of Dr. Martin Luther King and the Malcolm X. Right. So we are looking back uh -huh. on systematic racism, how it started, how it used to be then. Okay. And how it is now. Right, right. Okay. So, um, it's for free. Like uh -huh. I said, it's virtual. Huh. And it's happening tomorrow. Right. Um, it's happening today, sorry. The 19th of January, January. 2021, mm -hmm. from 11.30 p.m. Mm. to 1.30 a.m. GMT. Okay. And right. it's on Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, the Zoom link is on the flyer, which I'll be sharing on africaglobalradio.com. Okay. On the flyer as well, there's the meeting ID, the passcode, and then there's a number to dial in if okay. you're, you're having trouble getting into right. the Zoom link. Okay. All right. So systematic racism part one looking back. I feel like this is a conversation. I mean, yeah, systematic yeah, yeah. racism is something that keeps happening. Uh -huh, we've uh -huh. seen it. We've seen it so yeah. many times. Mm. So mm. the next thing that is on is Black Men's Library. Oh. And this is a new way for black men to read and learn together. Okay. It will focus on the educational outcomes of black men and ignite a lifelong habit of reading. Right. This event is being organized on a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. that says, mm. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, okay. but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Right. <laughs> So okay. this club is basically for black brothers uh -huh. who are seeking to expand their horizons through reading uh -huh. as well as the reflections that come along with it. Okay. All right. So mm. the session will be moderated by Baba Rurab, mm -hmm. who will address the social, economic, and political awareness needs of the African-American community, okay. especially the African-American male. Mm. All so right. this will also this will this will actually happen in person, mm. and that will be on today, mm. from seven p.m. to eight p.m. PST, which will be one a.m. to two a.m. GMT. Okay. And it'll happen at the Society for Africans in the Diaspora Library, mm. which is in Houston, Texas. Right. Right. <laughs> I'll share the flyer to this event as well mm. on africaglobalradio.com. So okay. anybody looking for information on this can just head on to africaglobalradio.com and then find it. Great. Now, the last thing that is on is um, a COVID-19 memorial service. Okay. That is taking place in the United States of America. Right. So this one will also happen today at 5.30 p.m. Okay. Which is 10.30 p.m. Um, GMT uh -huh. and it is inviting Americans across the country to come together for a national movement of unity and remembrance uh -huh. to honor the lives lost to COVID-19. Uh -huh. So it will be held in Washington DC okay. and will host a ceremony with President-elect Joe Biden right. and the Vice President-elect Kamala Harris uh -huh. and it will feature the first ever lighting of the Lincoln Memorial uh -huh. reflecting pool to honor and remember those who have died. Um, People who cannot go there in person, let's say you're in Abbey's Ghana, you will take part in this mm -hmm, memorial mm -hmm, service. Mm -hmm. You can watch it live on the inaugural social media channels of Joe Biden. Right. 96 million people. Over 96 million people. Yeah, so I think this is a memorial that For everybody around all, the world yeah, it should be a part should join of, in. Because yeah. people have lost love <sighs> and all of that. And it's good that um, the, <sighs> the next greatest man in the world... Powerful man. The, the, yes, the next powerful man of the world mm. will be hosting a ceremony together with the president and vice president elect, elect. Kamala Harris. Mm. It's sad, eh? It's, it's actually sad. <laughs> COVID 19 has done a lot of damage. Yes. 